In this issue, Apple's neural network, better late than never, the brain in a test tube will go to a conference in San Francisco. In the USA, a bill has been created that prohibits creating AI duplicates of celebrities, and also a lot of robots. Hello everyone, friends. These are Neuro News. Welcome to the epicenter of artificial intelligence innovations. Each week, we distribute the latest news from the realm of neural networks and advanced technologies. Make yourself comfortable. I'm Dimitri. We start. Once upon a time, people made tattoos, turning themselves into robots. Now, the robot is tattooing people. In the American city of Austin, the world's first robot tattoo artist was presented. When I read this, I envisioned only one robot that matches this description, and he defeats tattoos in the finest traditions for a beer. But no, it looks like this. The guys from the startup Black Dot promise that their automatic tattoo application device will revolutionize the world of tattoos. What are the advantages of a car over a person? The company claims that the robot tattoo artist analyzes the client's skin before the session and based on this data, determines the number and depth of functions. It is assumed that as a result, the application will be less painful and the tattoo itself will look best, taking into account the skin type and location. I wonder if he can immediately analyze what your mother will say about the tattoo. The whole process is currently under human supervision. Well, you know, it's for the case if the robot decides to type something like in Skynet Roulette. Currently, the startup operates only in Austin, but already plans to expand to Los Angeles and other cities in the USA. Ever thought you'd see a brain in a test tube playing ping pong? No, this isn't a new way to celebrate Halloween in scientific labs. Scientists from Cortical Labs created DishBrain, a device of 800k cells grown from rodent and human stem cells at their startup Cortical Labs. That's the brain of the test tube, connected it to the chip. It's like a reverse neural link. Elon Musk implants a chip into the brain at that place, and at this place, they implant the brain into the chip. Lord, I can't believe I'm telling this. Cells can interact with each other to achieve common goals. For example, for playing ping pong. Now the individuals from Cortical Labs have positioned their device in a computer prototype and transported it to San Francisco for a brain research conference. Apparently, they have something to show. We hope that something similar will not come out of this. News for people who love cats. A startup from the United States has introduced a robotic nanny for your adorable pet cat. O-Seater is three devices in one. Toy, surveillance camera, and smart feeder. The robot will move around the house and watch the kitten while you are away. And if he loses his pet, he will send you a message on the phone. Remote control is available and you can locate the lost cat together. There's also a game mode option. The robot's head is equipped with a laser pointer, which it can use to entertain your cat. The smart feeder in the device is equipped with a 2.5 liter food reservoir. You simply adjust the portion size and feeding frequency in the app, and the robot itself approaches the animal and extends the bowl in front of it. In addition, the gadget has microphones, so you can chat with your pet. Unfortunately, there is no translator for cat language yet. What this drawback should be fixed in future versions. They also promise that Ossita will understand when the cat wants to eat, play or rest, thanks to the smart camera and artificial intelligence. We think it's all very cute, but put yourself in the cat's place. Imagine that there is a robot watching you 24-7 and telling us what to do, supposedly better understanding our needs. The fight against deepfakes continues. In the USA, a bill has been created that prohibits the creation of AI celebrity clones. The bill was named No Fakes, and its main provision is a ban on creating digital reproductions without the consent of the respective private individual or rights holder. In simpler terms, No Fakes proposes to ban cloning a singer's voice or creating deepfakes with an actor. However, there are some exceptions. They include news, biographical works, sports materials, parodies, and advertisements. About advertising, an example comes to mind where Ronaldo and Messi play chess on Louis Vuitton suitcases. Uh, in fact, players were photographed separately, that is, they didn't overlap during the football shoot. They were combined later in post. The rights to similarity are preserved even after a person's death. These rights will be exercised by the heirs for 70 years after the death of the owner of the unique voice or external data. Naturally, the bill was supported by the Hollywood Actors Union, which has been on strike since July 14th of this year. Representatives of creative professions are worried that film studios may create digital copies of actors and use them in movies without compensating them for their work. And a similar precedent has already occurred when additional elements were generated by a neural network. 
At present, the bill is in draft status and, as per some experts, it offers limited new information and may potentially conflict with existing norms. Well, shall we watch the development of events? Are you not tired of robots in this issue yet? Okay, I promise this little one is the last. Thanks to the efforts of Disney, our world is becoming increasingly similar to the universe of Star Wars. Perhaps many of you recall how Disney developed animatronics for its theme parks, but this robot symbolizes the subsequent phase of advancement. He not only mimics subhuman behavior, but he is also trained to interact and respond to various situations, which makes him incredibly realistic and truly lifelike. Such a robot can become an ideal companion or assistant in various places. In amusement parks, he can entertain both children and adults with his movements and reactions to your actions. In airports and shopping centers, he can help visitors by answering their questions or showing them the way. The robot moves smoothly and expressively, like in a cartoon or a movie, evoking empathy in a person. Millions of years of evolution have turned fierce wolves into cute little dogs in order to beg humans for food. Uncertain what this robot will beg for upon gaining consciousness. But I hope developers have integrated the three laws of robotics, formulated by Isaac Asimov long ago, into its programming. Well, and the main news of the week. Apple joins the race for artificial intelligence. The company plans to spend $1 billion per year on research and development in this area. Per Mark Gurman of Bloomberg, Apple execs have ramped up AI project efforts, according to reliable sources. They are also working on a project called Apple GPT, which is already actively used within the company, but so far without a clear understanding of its further development. Most likely, we will see Apple's artificial intelligence in the next version of iOS. Surely we can expect significant improvement of Siri as well as other applications such as Apple Music, Pages, etc. Also under discussion is the question of how AI will be deployed, directly on devices, in the cloud, or in some other format or configuration. The closed preview, or possibly the premiere of Apple GPT, may occur at the presentation in the coming year. But one cannot deny the fact that the company is facing a very difficult task of catching up on lost time in the field of generative AI. After all, Apple is lagging behind in this direction by several years. We just have to wait and hope that the Apple neural network will be of the same quality as their other products. Friends, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new episodes and other interesting videos. Soon there will be an incredible video about professions replaced by neural networks in the near future. And for now, you can like this video if you enjoyed it and leave a comment. We read absolutely everything. I bid farewell to you. Farewell, farewell.